Okay, so hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing bad <laughs> because my wrist is hurting a little bit, so I can't work as much as I usually do, and I might or might not be a workaholic and I am suffering a lot because I want to work and I can't <laughs> but yeah anyways anyways um, I need to tell you guys something if you haven't watched my last video I highly recommend you to watch it not pressing you or anything but please watch it thank you uh, my last video which I will leave the link somewhere here I don't know where it is my last video was the sketching process, oh my gosh, my sketching process of this illustration. So I recorded the beginning, the very beginning to the very end of my sketching process and it might help you guys because I also added some voice over tips and I think you guys could help me as well. If you guys want to throw some tips on the last video or this one, please feel free to do it. Let's help each other. And for this video, I have the coloring process of that illustration from beginning to end, which was very difficult to record. So please give me a like. <laughs> no, just kidding. You, you can give me a dislike if you want. I, I don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, uh, why, why was it difficult? Um, the process of this illustration, coloring, only the coloring was above 15 hours which was very very difficult to edit because my computer is not it, it, it's not the best I, I try I try so hard with it but sometimes he he will eat himself out of the window so it makes things difficult because he decides to stop working <laughs> so yeah I shrunk it down uh, more than 15 hours into 20 minutes so please appreciate it it was painful <laughs> it was very painful yeah i will now let you guys watch the video i will voice over it as i always do and i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to leave a like a dislike <laughs> a comment and subscribe if you haven't already because i need to make bank I, I need to buy food to my cats <laughs> just kidding but please Please give me help. I never asked you anything. Okay, let's start talking about this commission. So, this commission is actually a little bit not safe for work, but I censored it with this very beautiful bikini. <laughs> I'm sorry to those that wanted to see, um, to see it, but you're you're not doing it today. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this commission was requested by Mira Nova Kitty, who I have already worked with before and I'm already working with her again for character sheets and she's an absolute joy to work with, she's amazing, she's super sweet, she has all the references I could ask for, she always thinks about everything and it's so so helpful as an artist to have uh, her find pictures of everything that might help me. This is amazing. I love this kind of client. They always are, are so, so nice. And she is doing it again with this new commission I am working on and I am so happy. Please, please, if you are looking to commission someone or even me, make sure you have a mood board or a Google Drive folder with uh, your references and how you'd like to have things look like. If you can't find a real-life picture of what you want to have commissioned, you can always uh, group lots of pictures and describe uh, what part of each one you want in the illustration. Uh, these characters didn't have a, a picture yet, I think. They didn't have their own reference sheet, so Mira build it up an amazing, incredible uh, reference sheet for me uh, of what <laughs> of everything I needed. And guys, please, please, <laughs> I, I can't stress enough the importance of this. Provide all the reference possible so your artist can do its best. 
Mira had references for the eye, for the front hair, for the back hair, for the jewelry, um, skin tones, everything, everything. She's gorgeous. I, I love all my clients, so you guys are always the best. So yeah, uh, second thing, you guys will be seeing flips. I am sorry, I, I tried my best, but this was more than 15 hours long, so I, I could not have the flips. If I cut the flipping, you guys would miss a lot, so please focus on the image on the left, the miniature in the left, so you won't be seeing so much flipping. I am so sorry. So this was a background, a complete illustration commission, but I decided to start with the girls. I know this isn't very recommended because when you want your illustration to be all tied up together, you'd like to have um, to start with your background so you can figure out the colors and then make the characters look like they are in the background. But if you are like me and can't start with the background, uh, you can start with the humans and place filters over the layers to help you merge them with the background. I even merged the... I, like I made a folder with the line work and also the coloring and then added the, the filters so it could even blend even more. Sometimes we will be drawing light on a character but the line art might still be black. And you don't want that to happen, you, you want the line art to be a little bit uh, lighter on that area that has light uh, hitting it. At least that's what I do, and I feel like it looks very... Um, although it's anime, I feel like doing this uh, lighter line art when you have light hitting it makes it feel more realistic. <laughs> I, I know it's not realistic, but I think you guys get me, right? We, in real life, we don't have line art, so if you blend your line art to the light, it, it will look like a bit more real, like it, it pretends to be real. <laughs> so yeah, uh, one of my favorite steps, but that I am not always happy with, is the skin. And my tips for coloring skin is having very very soft brushes and having a medium one which is not very soft not very hard on the edges it will make the skin soft but not blurry which is what we want to reach having a blurry skin sometimes make it bad when your your eyes feel feel strange when you want to look at a skin that was blur red <laughs> so you, you'd like to not make it so soft and not too hard uh, what I do is that <laughs> I, I, I am on that on not making my skin so blurry so I always use that airbrush I just told you guys and a medium brush and I also enjoy a lot having gradients on skin I think I don't know if I already did it or I will do it, but on this illustration I used a very soft gradient on her knee to her thigh and it made their her thigh look less um less chudy if I can say that. Like I know it's a chudy illustration, but having gradients in your illustration will make it look like there are surfaces, and, and these surfaces aren't flat. Like they, they can be round, they can be a square, a 3D square or something. Like having gradients is the best. Try to apply them whenever you are coloring anything. Um, see, uh, you guys will notice this, but uh, when coloring Misty, I had many, many problems with her skin because of the filter I had but I want to merge them a little bit with the background um, because of the bluish um, 
bluish, purplish uh, filter. I use it above everything. Uh, I was having too, too much trouble with um, the colors. I was shading her skin and you guys can see that I, I will change it a few times. But yeah, she, she has the softest skin of the now, I think. I use it more airbrush on her. Yeah, and for this illustration, I had lots of fun. Um, although I, I feel like I'm, I'm not so good with skin, I feel like I, I did a great job with this work. Since many people were telling me and asking me um, how did I do the skin, so I, I felt very happy with all these sweet comments saying that they enjoy how I color skin. So if you uh, said something good about my skin coloring, thank you so much. Uh, it made my day and I, I keep thinking about it every time I look at this illustration. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, there, there are many things I want to improve, but um, skin, skin is on my, my top tires of things that I need to improve. Um, I feel like I leak uh, many knowledge on small things, like I know how to do something, but I don't know why I do it. I don't know if I can explain this properly, but it's like when you know that there should be a shadow and this shadow should have this shape but I don't know why the shadow have this shape I, I just do it um, intuitively like I know I have to do it so I do it but I don't know why I do it <laughs> um, so I'm taking a art course on coloring and also perspective which is something I really really enjoy Whenever my clients are up to some crazy perspective, I feel so happy because I've been learning so, so much um, about art while doing commissions for the past year. And whenever you guys ask me something I don't do so often, it makes me so happy. It's like a chance to grow and learn more. I'm sorry about the flipping, I'm seeing it now and even I am feeling dizzy. You guys will be coming out of this video as if you guys were drunk, but I, I promise it will stop sometime. <laughs> it will stop. <laughs> so yeah, um, another thing I, I really enjoyed about working on this illustration was um, making the fluffy parts, because I, I love fluffy things. And her tail is super, super fluffy. I, I wish I could bury my face on it, because it seems so fluffy. I, I hope I, I was able to, to, to make justice, <laughs> to make justice to her tail. Uh, also, my favorite uh, character is this pony girl, because I have a pony girl and drawing her made me so happy. Um, I feel like I, I did, um, I did well on her skin, I, I didn't know, like when I, I heard her skin was going to be pink, I was a bit afraid because that uh, skin tone I don't often work with, but then it came out way better than I, ex <laughs> way better than I expected, ex expected, I can't even say it, <laughs> it came way way better than I anticipated and I am very very happy I also did something new with this coloring I used it lower uh, no, I used it less layers for her later hair and it made the process faster uh, like not absurdly faster than before but it, it saved me a little bit of time because usually I spend like two, three, even more hours on just hair and it made it faster, way faster. Um, I don't know why I, or how I did it, but I am very happy. 
And this time around I went back to the way I used it to highlight hair and added a bit of spicy. <laughs> I discovered the finger tool on Paintosa and now I use it for everything. I did the clouds on the water with it and later on I did the waves of the water. Waves? The, the water texture with it. And I feel like this finger tool is very cool, but again, you need to make sure you are not blurring things too much, because again, it will make your viewers blind. <laughs> um, for Mina's gold pieces, I didn't um, do line art, I only used the effect layer with the fringe water fringe effect and shaded it as it should so it didn't need a line art. I don't like spending much time on line art because it's the part that my hands hurt the most so I took the shortcut and worked it very hard on the shading. Um, yeah so I think I'm already starting the background I thought it would take a bit longer. Uh, so yeah, this is the finger tool I told you guys. I went overboard with it because I felt like it looked so good on the water. I am afraid now that it <laughs> it is it might be too blurry, but I I really enjoy how it came out the water. And water, I feel like water is one of my biggest um, enemies. It's my biggest enemy because it is always so difficult to replicate or code it in art because water is actually not blue and we code it as if it is blue and also there is all these um, waves <laughs> not waves but the movement uh, and everything that is moving on water always create some folds, folds of water, and this is hard to represent, but I feel like this uh, fingertip technique, um, it helped me a little bit. And this part, oh guys, this part was so difficult. Um, I, I never drill wood, and drawing it for this part was very, very brain-consuming. <laughs> Because I didn't want to use a PNG to make the texture, so I tried replicating it by hand. And I think I did quite well on this part, like it came out way better than I expected. I used a, my medium brush, not hard, not soft. And I also used some, in small spaces, a little bit of the fingertip, just so it wouldn't look like the the wood wings, vines, wings, <laughs> the, the wood fingers, the wood lines I wouldn't look um, so sharp, you know, so I, I blurred it a little bit carefully. <laughs> and for the background I actually ran away to CSP, although I can't line art on the CSP app, I really really enjoy their uh, texture brushes because they are a whole new level. Like look at this, look at this. It makes life so much easier and it saved so much of my wrist health. So if you guys can, I highly recommend getting CSP to aid you with um, texture brushes. It will be your savior. <laughs> it will keep your wrist health for way longer don't don't waste your wrist if there is an a easier way to do things you can waste your wrist health but making things quicker and not getting pain afterwards is always nice <laughs> so yeah we are almost in the end uh, i really i really love csp brushes i i can't I wish I could learn art there because it's very very helpful 
and oh yeah my client wanted two versions for this artwork so we had the summer one and the winter one i played with the color values and added a few other uh, effects to make it more believable <laughs> so yeah uh, for this illustration i used it at least for the summer piece i used the proximity equals darker colors uh, which you can see by the flower petals i used the ones that are closer to us are darker and also with a very slight motion blur and yeah i i really like it i feel like the summer one is my favorite but you guys will be seeing the winter one in a couple seconds so let me know are you a winter person or a summer person i would love to see the snow i have never seen snow and is it true that snow and winter makes your bones hurt <laughs> okay so recap time yay i have a few points to tell you guys in this recap First one, start with your background, then characters. When you do this, you can blend your characters more with your background instead of my way. But you can work around it using filters with the colors of the background. Second point, uh, match your line art to sun or shadow. You can make your line art lighter when there's sun uh, hitting that area or darker when there's shadow hitting that area it will make your artwork look more real quote quote real <laughs> and will look beautiful in the end <laughs> third point skin use soft brushes and medium soft brushes not too hard not too soft avoid using airbrush and blur tools too much in this house we hate the blur tool okay <laughs> Four, um, spreading hate on blur is always morally correct. <laughs> you you try avoiding blur as much as possible, and when you have to merge colors, try to create a gradient to the color you want with the color hue. Don't use, try not using the blur tool. Try it. If you make a soft gradient, I am sure it will look nice instead of just using the blur between two colors and five uh, whenever there's something very very close to the camera and that you don't want to steal the attention from the main thing you can darker and even desaturate the thing that's closer to the camera so that it will still be on the color hierarchy it won't be stealing attention from what needs attention and yeah that is a wrap thank you so much for listening to me i hope i kept you good company don't forget to leave a like and a comment and maybe a subscribe thank you so much i will see you guys in the next week next <laughs> next <laughs> next week yeah see you thank you so much for keeping me company as well thank you i hope you have a nice day